Today, two 15-year-old boys and a 17-year-old boy are charged with kidnapping a woman, putting her in her car trunk, and sexually assaulting her. Here are the photos from a bank ATM of the suspects on Channel 2's Amy Napier Viteri, live in Rockdale County, with how our stories led to a father to turn in his son. Well, within just the last half hour, police actually sent me this picture of evidence they say was used in that attack. It's zip ties, duct tape, as well as latex gloves. And this community was so shocked by that crime in which those teens attacked a woman working security here on Monday night that police tell me one of the suspect's own fathers actually turned him in last night. We first aired these surveillance images from the Bank of America on West Avenue in Conyers Tuesday on the Channel 2 Action News Nightbeat. Since then, Captain Jackie Dunn says his department and Crime Stoppers have been flooded with tips. A lot of crimes you don't get this volume of cooperation from the community. But Dunn says this crime was so troubling, even friends and family of the suspects reached out. Police say Monday night, three teens approached a woman working security on a production set filming on Main Street. They ordered the woman into the trunk of her BMW, used her ATM card to take out cash and then sexually assaulted her at gunpoint in Johnson Park before letting her go. That is so scary because I come here all the time. I work here and I've lived here forever. People who live and work in the area have been frightened since learning of the attack. Wednesday night, police say tips led them to locate the suspects, two 15-year-olds and one 17-year-old. Captain Dunn says one of the teens came to the police station when his own father turned him in. This isn't a, a child stealing from a gumball machine. This was a heinous crime. And, and I think the, the father realized it for what it was and, and brought his son in. Police say they found a handgun, duct tape, and zip ties they believe were used in the attack. They're charging all three teens as adults. Well, I think they, they should. They did adult crimes. That's um, going out there and trying to hurt somebody and physically and scarring somebody's mental state also. And police are not yet releasing the mug shots for those suspects until they've had a chance to let the victim identify them herself. They say two of the teens have already confessed to this crime, and they also say they're very familiar with one of the 15-year-olds who has a lengthy criminal history, and we're learning more about that. And we'll have it for you on Channel 2 Action News at 5. We're live in Conyers. Amy Napier-Viteri, Channel 2 Action News.